how would you like to meet one of my clients? Today, I'm so happy to introduce someone that I'm just so glad agreed to share his experiences. So I hadn't spoken to Noah in some time, so I just reached out to see how he was doing and just to check in on him. And I'm thrilled to share his story and his unique perspective. His journey demonstrates that with support, you can achieve results and find more peace in your life and happiness and just inner strength. It's my hope that by listening to Noah's story, you'll get a better sense for who I am and how I work and the kind of the results that I get from real clients. All right, well, that's enough for me. Here's, here's Noah. Yeah, hi, my name's Noah, I'm from California. Uh, my emotional state when I first reached out was, was tough. I mean, I was, I was in a desperate state I wasn't sleeping, you know, I tried all kinds of things, uh, medicine and, you know, exercising and I just tried a lot and, but I was just, it was just beyond me. I was in so much pain emotionally that it had just become physical pain and I was having all kinds of symptoms I'd never uh, felt before and confusion and just, yeah, I was in a bad, bad place. Yeah, I, I couldn't even... I couldn't even imagine being any sadder or, or lower. This wasn't a normal breakup. This was not a normal situation in my life. That this wasn't. Uh, this was. This is like a uh, accumulation of of life's pain, you know. And I was looking for content that was hopeful. And every once in a while, I would come across it. I'd be like, "Oh wow, this this could be a medium of hope, right?" And then I, then I zeroed in on your videos and I was like, wow, this guy has good energy. So I felt like it was that it was energy, but it was also language. It was like, oh, whoa, this is something that he knows what I've done or what I've experienced. And this isn't some, you know, this isn't just a breakup. What I was talking, thinking about was like, oh, okay. And I thought, wow, this, and I really think it is, it's, it's a new model. You know, I'm, I am a, actually a therapist and, um, and I think therapy is effective, but I also think that coaching specific for specific problems and specific language is also super helpful um, because there's nothing better than having somebody help you um, rewrite a story with language that makes sense, is real. But this isn't a make-believe trauma, this is a real trauma. And he's seen it before, he's felt it before, he's experienced it before. I, I mean, the first words that I hate to say is the first word that comes to me said, came, came to me is this is fun, you, you know, because, which is the opposite of really, you know, uh, uh, of trauma, you know, trauma is not fun. Um, but um, who knows, maybe um, rewriting the path of, uh, of healing could be fun. And so I appreciated that, I appreciated Miles uh, affect and energy that comes across the screen. And I felt like, um, there was also like the opposite of that. Like we can move towards healing, and, which can be joyful and, and hopeful. And, and so it was nice. I felt, I felt super connected, uh, to miles and I felt, yeah, I mean, I felt like he got it. He'd been there and from, and he had kind of thought about it. It wasn't just like he had been there and he, he had actually thought about where he had been, where he had gone, and where he was moving towards, and how he was moving away from it. And not that there's a formula, but that there is a path, and that you know, men and women and people can help each other, um, you know, find that path, whether it be by example, or by just caring, or by um, sometimes naming things, sometimes labeling things, sometimes giving permission. I really felt like I had permission. And so, yeah, I, I felt like Miles is a, is a, is a trusting, trusting soul and has a good use of, uh, self seriousness, educationalness, comedy, inquisitiveness and interest. So it's a good, it was a good formula for me, but I think what's really important one for me and what's powerful for me is, is that we have self healing powers when working with others. And that the others trigger those as well. So just like those other people, other people trigger trauma, other people can trigger, you know, healing powers. And to work with somebody that does that is, is fun and interesting and, 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 and gives you hope. But, you know, we could laugh and we, I could say, you know, oh, the heat, the superpowers, you know, uh, Miles knew I had the superpowers, you know, 
um, I just had forgotten about them. And we have them, we have them, but we forget. And when do they, where do they come out? When do they come out? They come out in conversation, in story, in relationship. They come out when two people come together or three people or a group come together and, you know, and give space for that instead of the opposite, which is give space for trauma. And I think Miles saw that in me. He saw this, you know, this broken down therapist guy who had just lost fucking everything. His dogs died, his girlfriend left him, he lost his job. I felt like I lost everything. But I think what's different is, is that Miles and his coaching style is very specific to what's going on with this trauma, this specific trauma. And naming it, giving you permission to for it to be okay, to be more to be as traumatic as it is. Because I'll tell you what, a lot of people they don't want to hear it. A lot of people say, Oh, it's just a girlfriend, just get another one. Or oh, it's just a guy, you'll just you're good looking, you're fine, you'll go get another one. That's bullshit. This is real and and the research shows it's real. A breakup with a narcissist is takes much longer to take than than a, than a regular breakup because you have changed. It has changed you. That relationship has changed you and you have lost part of who you are. And to recoil and to find yourself again, you need specific guidance and that's what is different. So, I would say coaching they have to be good because, you know, no one's going to call them back. Therapy, you don't have to be good because you can just take your time and you can go for three or four or five sessions of just listening. Well, Miles is going to tell you who, where he's at. He's going to, he, he gives a lot. And I appreciate that active relational work where he's like, he'll tell you straight up. Oh yeah, I know that one. I felt that one before. Um, so it's, it's much more, um, it's not therapist up here, client here. It's it's much more we meet right here. What I can say is, is I feel like I'm back. I feel like I've, I'm back out of the hole. I'm not on any medications. I don't even take melatonin to sleep. I'm back to my my comfortable body weight. I'm back to my activities, my exercise and my activities. I'm back to socializing. I've also, I've also, there's things I've cut out. I've been very comfortable with about cutting out. There's certain people that I just nope. Yeah, beyond just coiling back, I feel like I'm um I'm more comfortable setting limits and cutting things out, which I used to never do. Ever. And so that's been wonderful. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like I've uncoiled and more. You know, I get it. I get that a lot of people don't want to make the call. And the thing is is that if you do make the call, you're gonna feel better. And sure Everyone needs to get paid. Miles isn't your friend that you can call. He's got much more skill than that. And he's gonna stay with you and not try to tell you to pull your bootstraps up and quit acting like a baby. He's gonna provide you some skills and, and, some, and some pathways. And so it is an investment, but if you invest in yourself, then you know, maybe, you could do, maybe you could help somebody someday. You know, these, are, these, are, these are concrete skills that people need. And you'll be miserable by yourself in your apartment when you could spend a couple hundred bucks and get yourself unmiserable. So be unmiserable and and don't wait, you know, to get on to have to get on your knees. And um, it, it, it's worth it um, because this stuff doesn't it doesn't go away. And, and I'll say that it doesn't go away both ways. Healing doesn't go away because once you've had it, you get to keep it. But Trauma doesn't go away either if you leave it. It'll just fester. Invest in yourself. You're gonna get to keep it. Miles isn't gonna waste your time. Let, let's let's see some healing. Let's you know let's move forward and 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 you'll get to keep that, those healing powers. You'll get to f keep that hope. That hope will be yours. It's a gift. You gotta you gotta you gotta sign up. You gotta do it. You gotta show initiative. You gotta ask for it. So let's just quit doing life without good help because we all need it. I mean, I'm not ashamed to say I need it. So there's some value in all this work, you know, it, it'll, it'll improve your life in all aspects of it. Not just, not just your, not just your heart, but your, all your relational skills will, 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 will get a chance, you know, to get part of you. I'm sticking to it.